Hello viewers, welcome to CAE for you. In this video, we will see our analysis of an eroding projectile due to its impact with a plate at an inclined angle. To assess the effect of the inclination and check how well the numerical simulation captures the actual physics, the simulation was carried out for three different inclination angles. Before we go further, we would like to refer our video which we posted some time back. Simulating the aerodynamic characteristics of 7.62 mm bullet. You can watch it visiting our YouTube page or the link provided in the description. Our current video is actually an extension of the aerodynamic analysis on understanding the terminal impact of such a projectile. While just demonstrating a simulation is easier, we are intrigued on the accuracy of this simulation because that is where the usefulness of the simulation lies. We were able to find some publication on these kind of simulations. However, they were performed using commercial software. Lately, open radius and open source software was known to have such capabilities and hence we tried this simulation using open radius. If you are interested in performing this simulation and want to use open radius, we have made a separate video on how to download and use open radius. You can watch it visiting our YouTube page or using the link in the description. So what we could achieve so far, let's take a look. This is of course an interesting result. If you are already familiar with the concepts, software and need only the working files to play with, they are available in Gumroad for purchase. The link is provided in description. If you have any queries on the simulation or want, want us to help in your project, feel free to reach out to us through email. However, if you like to know more about our experience, in this case, we suggest to watch the video till the end. We would like to express that open radius is relatively new for us, which we started to explore lately. As we realize the software is powerful, the learning curve is long and steep. So we are still exploring, despite that it is encouraging to simulate such a complex physical behavior, which we have just seen a while ago. As we earlier pointed out, our objective is simulating high velocity impact and compare with publications to understand the usefulness. Also, in the process to explore open radius better. The usefulness of the simulation is to analyze the protectiveness of a structure against a projectile traveling at high velocity. That is to know if the projectile would get stopped or deflected. The latter is also referred as ricochet effect of a projectile. So let's see what we have considered for the simulation. We have used the same geometry of the projectile which we used for aerodynamic simulation. While the realistic projectile may have covers or jackets, we have modeled only the core which means it is a part level simulation when it comes to projectile. However, the simulation can be easily expanded to assembly level that is including the additional covers or jackets. It is also noted that the core contributes greatly in perforation, while the cover material can provide lubricating effect to avoid energy wastage due to friction. In the software, it is possible to adjust the friction coefficient to account for this effect, but it would be iterative. However, this is actually a deviation from the publication which could result in deviation while comparing the results. Based on the reference, 8 mm thick plate is considered for the simulation at 3 different angles of incidence, that is from the vertical of the plate. The angles are 20 degrees, 40 degrees and 70 degrees. The bullet initial velocity is considered to be 800 meter per second, which is also taken from reference. The material model plays a crucial role while sol solving high velocity impact problems because the material properties have to incorporate the realistic behavior 
of the deformation and erosion which are dependent on strain rate and temperature particularly for this kind of situations the typical material model used for this simulation is the so called johnson cook strength model which encompasses the aforementioned effects since we need to simulate material erosion we have to define failure criteria that is a criteria which will be used to remove the elements once the damage reaches the failure levels interestingly johnson cook failure model is supported by open data to determine when the material has to be eroded surprisingly the material parameters provided in the reference publication did not work well so we used the material properties published by johnson and cook this is again a big deviation which contributes to the deviation while comparing the results we will see that as we progress let's move on to prepare the mesh as required by any other solvers open radius requires the deck file to be prepared on its own format and ensure the units are consistent nevertheless gms script was used to create the geometry and mesh thanks to its capability that it can export to native open radius format the script was parametric it is prepared in such a way to modify few geometric parameters to obtain the geometry and mesh we have to use 3d geometry to capture the physical behavior while any 2d model reductions would suppress the actual behavior we will highlight this point at relevant instance to improve the computational efficiency structured coarse grid has been used it is important to note that it has influence on the minimum time step preparing structured grid would require multiple regular shapes sharing common boundary however when the mesh is exported it is observed that they are getting exported as different parts for small model this won't be a big problem but for larger models this can be tedious and time consuming in defining the fe model meticulous approaches will be required to make it practical and efficient body to body contact was created so that we don't lose the interaction once the first layer is eroded since the plate was held by a clamp in top and bottom we have fixed the top and bottom ends the velocity was queried selecting a node at the base of the projectile in the same way the mass properties are queried for the projectile thereby we can get the residual velocity and eroded mass which we will compare with the published result at end at this point of time there is no open source tool available to set up the deck file hence it was done manually open radius gui was used to submit the run the simulation was submitted on four cores the gui also provided options to convert the results which can be viewed in paraview and create csv data files of the nodal and elemental results the simulation for 20 degree and 70 degree plate inclination was completed quickly that it took about less than 24 minutes while for 40 degree it took around 6 core hours the results are visualized using paraview the csv data is processed using librecalc let us compare fea results with the published results first when we look the residual velocity value we observe that though the values are half the trend is same at the angle as the angle of inclination increases the ability of the projectile to penetrate the plate reduces partly because the effective increase in thickness and the tendency to deflect the projectile the deviations are attributable to the geometric and material property variations likewise it is also reported that there were some issues faced using the material model and fe approach even in commercial software where sps method could be an alternative this option can be explored but looking at the objective and specifics to the case a fee model modeling appears adequate reason being it is often sufficient to know whether the plate is able to withstand the impact or allow the projectile to perforate and what is the critical angle of projectile to ricochet that is the critical angle to deflect the projectile it is also worth to note few things based on the simulation results from reference it is clear that there exists a high gradient zone while calculating residual velocity these zones may pose challenges and require non intuitive approaches to get reasonable accuracy however the region with lower gradient can be reasonably captured it will still require multiple studies to assess if similar analogies applies to our simulation too because it will take a big toll on preparing reliable numerical model 
So, if you are using our work as a reference, we strongly recommend to perform a calibration study with available test data or references from reliable literature. The erosion pattern is quite interesting and it is sensitive to the damage criteria. It is possible to adjust the damage criteria to modify the simulation behavior close to the field observation. We would like to reiterate, it would be challenging to extend the methodology to new designs without calibration. It is also worth noting that for 40 degree inclination angle, the result shows that the projectile will experience significant, significant bending, which is also in line with the experimental observations indicated in other references. We found it is also worth to compare the capabilities of the projectile from a original manufacturer specification. The specification indicates the impact velocity in real scenario is likely to be less than the one considered and hence its penetration capability. It is important to understand that the impact in reality may not be perfect one. However, simulation can prove to be a very effective tool for assessing such situations so that the product can meet the intended specification. Despite many of the challenges, open radius can be a powerful open source tool to simulate high velocity impact. If you need any assistance in your project or concept development activity, please feel free to take our services. That's all we have in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you for watching.